six decades of graffiti and street art worldwide. So as I misstated in my Sofia Bulgaria street art expose, hip-hop as it relates to street art back in the 70s was not so much about the bling bling. It was more about protest and more about self-expression. Again, Keith Haring comes up, and he's one of the inspirations for autographs, stuff that I posted up about two weeks ago. Then we have 1989 again, very pivotal year. This part of the world especially. Coming into the 90s. Hard to believe this is over 20 years ago. So yesterday I filmed The Girl with the Balloon, one of his most iconic, uh, Banksy's most iconic uh, protest kind of stencils. That was at the MoCA Museum of Contemporary Art here in Amsterdam. If you haven't seen the movie Exit Through the Gift Shop, fantastic. I don't know if they call it a mockumentary or is it, a, is it it's just fantastic. Remember when it came out, we got a copy of it, and or maybe through Netflix or something, we were able to show it to our students. Uh, Nick Kozak in uh, the art department had a showing of it. Really fantastic at Manhattan Hunter Science High School. Kids were so fortunate to be introduced to this kind of uh, aspect of art that truly relates to them or that they can truly relate to, I should say. It truly speaks to them. Now we saw some JR yesterday. I'll have to check out that uh, JR 
Oh, oh, faces, faces, places. I gotta check out that documentary. Can you imagine paying 1.04 million pounds for a piece of artwork and then just slashing it to be pieces? 